perimeter and area of a rhombus. Can you draw a rhombus? I am sure you can. You may draw a rhombus like this. But I want to draw this rhombus in a different way, which you will understand as we proceed in this video. I will draw an isosceles triangle first. Then I will copy this triangle, flip it and join it like this to form a rhombus. This means that a rhombus is nothing but a combination of two congruent isosceles triangles. How will you find area of a rhombus? Let us draw both the diagonals of the rhombus. We know that diagonals of a rhombus bisect each other at right angles. This means that both the diagonals are perpendicular to each other. Let us mark these diagonals as D1 and this diagonal as D2. Then we have a rhombus which is a combination of two congruent isosceles triangles whose base is D1 and height is half into D2. How do we calculate area of a triangle? Using the formula half into base into height. So area of this triangle will be half into D1 into half into D2. Since rhombus is 2 times this triangle, so area of rhombus will be 2 times area of this triangle and 2 times half into D1 half into D2 equal to half into D1 into D2. Therefore, area of a rhombus is half into product of its diagonals. Now suppose I ask you to find the perimeter of rhombus, then how will you calculate it? We know that just like a square, all sides of a rhombus are equal in length. So, if we denote the sides of a rhombus as S, then what will be the perimeter of the rhombus? That's right, it will be 4S. What if we don't know the length of the side of the rhombus? Then how will you calculate its perimeter? In such a case, we can use the length of the diagonals of the rhombus to find the length of its sides. But how do we do it? Using the formula, side equal to half into square root of d1 square plus d2 square. Now, can you find the perimeter of the rhombus? That's right, it will be 2 into square root of d1 square plus d2 square. Let us now quickly summarize what we have learnt. If we have a rhombus whose diagonals are d1 and d2, then the area of the rhombus equal to half into d1 into d2. Perimeter of rhombus equal to 2 into square root of d1 square plus d2 square. And length of side equal to half into square root of d1 square plus d2 square.